So hello, today I have got Steve Williams with me for the latest Business Spotlight um, session that we're doing. Steve is the co-owner of Redgate, and Redgate are commercial brokers for property investment. So welcome, Steve, to the call. Thank you, Gavin. And I guess my first question for you is, uh, what's a commercial broker for property investment? <laughs> uh, thanks very much. Um, so we differ slightly from uh, normal property uh, mortgage brokers in that we don't get involved in people's residential mortgages. That's that's very different part of, of regulation. So what we focus on is providing investment and development facilities for um, UK and overseas uh, investors and developers um, on a range of different assets, be that commercial, uh, mixed commercial, residential and residential. Um, in addition to that, we also provide and assist with the sourcing of facilities for SME businesses that are typically property backed, for example, care homes, hotels, restaurants, etc. It's an interesting response. It kind of feels a bit niched in one way, but a broad niche in, in a sense. There seems to be a lot there. Yeah, it, it's very true. I mean, it, it, it is a, a smallish sector uh, within the overall financing world. Um, it's a sector that that's hugely exciting because it, it's it's not vanilla. It's every every type of transaction can be different. Every borrower can be different. You could be dealing with a borrower around the corner one day and a borrower ten thousand miles away the next day. Um, and it, it, same with same with asset types, different different asset types, different locations, different tenant profiles. So you really rarely get two transactions that are the same. So I understand, Steve, that this is a fairly young business. So how did you get into it? What was your passion? What was your motivation for starting this up? So, yes, you're quite right. Redgate is relatively new. We have been trading only sort of two or three months, um, myself and my business partner and the rest of the team. Um, so the, to answer the question, I have to kind of go back a little bit in time um, in that I have been in this sector overall banking commercial banking sector since i was 21 um left university worked eight years at hsbc bank working my way up from being a cashier through to um SME bank manager for, for a, a portfolio of clients i then left the bank and spent a further five to five and a half years at clydesdale bank doing something similar but also involving a bit more property lending um there um and then at the time of the credit crunch, um, matters with Clydesdale were, were moving in a different direction. So uh, a number of us left at the time and I joined a firm called Bespoke Business Finance, um, who I worked under their umbrella for 12 years, um, learning my trade, learning how to become a broker as opposed to a bank manager. Very, very different um, perspective on things. Um, and then over that course of that time, um, the idea of setting up Redgate um, became more prevalent, you know, later down that line, um, and more about trying to do things in putting our own stamp on the way in which we want. We, you know, myself and Stuart, who's my business partner, thought uh, a business in this sector can run, could run, and and should run. Um, the, a lot of changes have happened in our sector during the time I've worked as a broker. You know, we've, we've had the introduction of regulation um, via the FCA. So that, that's a, been a huge challenge for, for everyone to get to grips with. Um, and then, you know, various other sort of regulatory matters that, that are fed through. You've got consumer duty at the moment and, and the, the relative impacts of those on different types of regulated businesses. Um, and all in all, uh, the opportunity to set up Redgate was one, and like I say, trying to do some things in our own mold I'm 47 years old. Stuart is 49 years old in a couple of weeks. Um, and this is about our you know, longevity, um, you know, securing our futures uh, for the next 15 to 20 years. It's, uh, that's a really interesting response, Steve. I'm going to just pull apart a couple of points in there, if I may. Mm. Because um, what, you know, what I've heard you say there is that uh, you're passionate about what you know and what you do. This is an opportunity to do things in your own likeness and you're investing in your future. You know, many people might argue that their future is more secure if they stay in an in, in, in secured employment. 
you've mentioned your ages you didn't need to but you've mentioned your ages and I find that interesting as well in the sense that you know you're you're stepping out there only four percent of adults have the courage to set up their own business um and 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 you're coming at it fairly new um and you're coming at it with the intention of making a success and being an investment in your future um and I guess, therefore, if you're prepared to do that, you wouldn't be discouraging other people from thinking the same. Uh, absolutely. I think, I think you know, I, I, I've, I've become very comfortable as a, as a specialist finance, commercial finance broker over 12 years. Mm. That, that, that now is almost second nature to, to myself. The, the running of the business is like a it's an added challenge it's it's it's, an, it's the next kind of stepping stone i find in 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 sort of progression um I, you know you're quite right i could have sat there um uh carried on as i was and I, i'd have been very comfortable and life would have been very easy relatively easy um and i could have enjoyed family holidays and whatever i i, I could, that could have carried on but i I, I like to challenge myself. Um, plus, like I said, the ability to do things in your own way. I, 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 I genuinely feel that that this market is is so enjoyable to work within. Um, there's some really, really good people that work within it, people I get on well with, people I consider friends. Um, so it was kind of a logical next step. Um, and, and you're quite right. I would, I would, I would always encourage. Mm. um people to people to do this and the, the flip side the flip side to what you say I, I also having worked in this industry for a long time it, it can be quite volatile if you're a, an employee you know i've seen lenders you know we've had the credit crunch we've had now this cost of living crisis we've had covid we've had a lot of a lot of challenges in the last mm. like last 12 to 13 years and and lenders will react quite starkly in various situations so it's not always the case that in finance and banking, it's a, it's a job for life. So in the situation that myself and Stuart find ourselves in, we've taken control of, of, yeah. of, of that situation. I, and I think that's yeah very, very interesting response there. Um, as a coach, I teach my clients about the three hats that people bring to their role as a business owner, the entrepreneur, the manager and the technician. Now, the technician part of you is really clear. You, you understand this industry. You understand that the processes, the machine, you know, the machine within it and how it works. So I'm going to ask you um, in these early months, what has surprised you in terms of putting a business together and setting a business? What, what's been challenging or, or what's been surprising that perhaps you weren't anticipating? Um, I would say, well, I mean, there's an obvious there's an obvious challenge, which is to be authorized by the FCA. So you have to go through a fairly lengthy, diligent process for the FCA to say that you're, 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 a, you're a capable and you know, a capable individual to be running a, a regulated business. Now, you know, that is most clearly the largest um, uh, issue we faced. And that, that took us five months, I think, from start to finish. Um, like I say, our part of, of, of the finance sector has only been regulated for a relatively short period of time. And, I, and, and, I, and, and there, are, there are challenges within that because, uh, because we're so specialised, because of the nature of the clients we deal with, we actually don't deal with many regulated loan situations. But the market that we work in requires that. So it, it, it is a challenge. Uh, it was a challenge getting authorised. A, there was a lot of paperwork, a lot of stuff that you're you're creating from scratch. Um, mm. um, in hindsight, I might have done it slightly different. I might have employed some people that had been through this a few times before instead of trying to wade my way through it um, on my own or with Stuart and myself. Um, but we got there. And again, feedback from other people that I've spoken to after we got authorised in that, that five months is actually a reasonably quick um period of time we actually you know that was one of the quicker authorizations so we must have done a fair few things right but uh, massive challenge um that that was an obvious thing in terms of in terms of other things i mean I, I, you, I guess let me help you with the question well in terms yeah. of the mindset the business owner's mindset because i suppose that's a, a fresh experience for you yeah you know, yeah 
that's 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 more of I think about balance. It's more for me. It's about balance. It's about so prior to Redgate starting, all I used to focus on was clients, deals, completions. You know, and just making sure that I was doing my day job, for want of a better phrase, which was just focusing on that. Now you've got a far broader range of responsibility. So I've you know not only do I have to look after my clients, I now have um, you know other you know just office based things. You know in terms of the, you know premises, and we've got we've got we've got a couple of brokers that work underneath this. It's making sure that they're, they're okay, sure, making sure they're well supported. We've got one experienced broker that works in our team. We've got one relatively inexperienced. So, you know, it's making sure that that they feel supported and that can ring me and or ring Stuart and mm. and get get the support. So I think it's just it's just that balance. You know, I used yeah. to spend I used to spend my entire day just focused on transactions and deals, and I can't do that now. Um, so it, I guess it's just it's it, and I'm still probably still trying to find that balance because I still find myself now working slightly later in the day, starting slightly earlier. Mm. So I guess I'm still still evolving in that because it's, it's only been a few months in terms of this, this position. But it, it you know, with, with getting the FCA out of the way, getting some of the one-off startup things out of the way, it does feel like things are settling. But it, again, I, it's, it's something I'm very wary of going forward. Mm. One of the things I often advise people who are starting a business up or in the early stages of their business to do is is really design the business around their needs so you know we're brought up with the mentality that if you want to be successful you've got to work hard and we're also taught from a young age aren't we that working hard means putting in the hours and and these are actually faulty thinking concepts what will help a business succeed is 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 a plan and a model that the business will work to and into that one needs to factor, don't we? Our family time and the other things that are important to us. Mm. Um, so that side of things, I guess, is the entrepreneurial hat, the working to the plan. Um, if if you were advising somebody who was starting up for the first time, would you, you know, would that be an area that you'd look at with them and say, you know, you really need to make sure that you've got the, the foundations in place? Or would you go down more the line, look, just get started and see what happens? Be no, 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 no. Possibly. No, you, you, I, I, if, if I was if I was speaking to someone that was about to do the same thing, I 100% fundamentally get the principles and, and the basis and the foundations of your business right from day one because it, it should make life so much um, more structured. And I think that's what that's what you need is, is structure. So, so we, Stuart and I, spent time thinking about how we wanted to... Um, resource our business how we wanted to um organize i mean literally everything from it through to email through to um the the interaction with clients and and how everything works whilst throwing on top of that ensuring that we operate in a in an ethical um compliant regulatory manner uh, that would satisfy any um, potential inspection or review of, of the advice that we provide. And you have to get that right from, from day one. Or it, or you don't have to, but it's going to make your job you, so you much harder. You have to work the plan, don't you? have to have a sense of direction or where, where you're going with those things. I, I yeah. agree. The business breaks down into three, three simple things. Finding the clients, serving the clients, and building the teams and the systems in place to allow the former two to take place. And and that's exactly. essentially it. Whatever time we've got in our day, in our week, that's those are the three things that, that we need to address. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're clearly really passionate about um about what you do and you you certainly um enjoy it. That's coming across very strongly. Um so I want to finish with a question really about where you hope to take your business, what <laughs> it would like to be for you. That is a good question. Um, and it's a question that uh, we have considered, um, and we do have we do have plans. Um, they are plans for growth, um, but controlled growth, I think, is the way we, we, we're looking at it. We would like to bring on, um, you know, we'd like to make the team bigger. We'd like to bring on brokers that have got experience, that know what they're doing, know the sector, um, uh, and, and are prepared to work with other people, you know, perhaps people that we know. That we trust um so that that's one side of things but we've got probably two three maybe even four other avenues that 
we are considering um, how we how we progress. Um, so, okay, oh, yeah, where, where do I see the business going? I, I see the business I, in terms of the team, the core of what we do, growing steadily. That's what I'd like to see, you know, adding, I'd ideally like to add two or three people a year. That would be great until we get to a certain point where, you know, we, we have to sort of think about um, infrastructure and whatever. But I also do want to explore some of the other other, other avenues. Maybe not all of them, but um, there, there's a lot of there's a lot of potential in our industry, um, and it doesn't take an awful lot um, of effort to make these things work. What you do need is, but you do, you know, what we do need is 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 the organisation, the structure to be able to expand in a, in a sort of manner that doesn't mean that I am working twenty three hours a day because that's also um, not going to be great. I've, I've got four children. Uh, I have a I have a very very busy um, personal life outside of work. So it, I, I want to expand. Red Light. I want to it to grow, and I want it to. Um, establish itself in our marketplace and you know um, in, enjoy uh, the respect of my clients colleagues people that work in this industry you know whilst doing whilst doing um, you know a, a good job um, professional job um, and, yeah, and exploring a few of those avenues I, I, I don't want to bore you with the avenues no, no, I'm, when I'm, you're I'm not. not going down a, <laughs> I'm going down a track that, uh, no, that's one that, thing particularly that, exciting but uh no, that's great I just did my only response to, to those things and the um is that I'm you know I'm I'm very I'm very passionate that that people have set up their business do plan beyond their business you know you do look at your family you look at the business you where you want to take that you've got some very clear ideas um, mm. I think effectively what you're sharing is that it's important to make sure that those balances are right and bring my myself back to the to the point earlier where I said that you know if you know where you want to take the business if you're you're planning then you know you you can work to that and uh, and um, make the business what you need it to be for yourself. I, think, I, I, I found this <laughs> fascinating conversation and. Um, and I really want to thank you, Steve, for you know for for sharing uh, those insights, and uh, you know, really wish you the best going forwards. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it.